didn't know about it. Eritrea is an independent country in Africa's horn. Eritrea is bordered on the east and northeast by the Red Sea, on the southeast by Djibouti, on the south by Ethiopia, and on the west by Sudan. It is the world's 99th largest country, with 4 to 5,406 square miles and including parts of the Hanish Islands and the Dalak Archipelago. It has a population of roughly 5 million people and is a multi-ethnic country. Eritrea, along with India, Venezuela, and Brazil, is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, and the Arab League as an observer. Eritrea is small enough to be easily overlooked, while being dwarfed by two considerably larger neighbors. Despite its tremendous tourism potential, the country is already near the bottom of tourist arrivals in Africa and makes little attempt to attract new visitors. Those who are aware of what Eritrea has to offer are frequently deterred from going since organized trips remain out of reach for most budgets and Eritrea's hotels consistently fail to match international standards. It also doesn't help that, despite obvious changes in recent years, Eritrea's visa procedure remains opaque, unpredictable, and inconvenient. Here are some interesting facts about Eritrea. Please subscribe to Africa Reloaded as we begin the countdown. 10. Over 30% of the Eritrean freedom fighters were women. Women played an important role in Eritrea's independence struggle, accounting for more than 30% of the country's freedom fighters. In comparison to all previous liberation movements on the earth, this one had the biggest percentage of women. The Ethiopian forces were the adversary in the independence war. Following Ethiopia's takeover of Eritrea, the country's official language was changed to Amharic. 9. One of the world's oldest hominids was discovered in Eritrea. In Eritrea's Afar area, a million-year-old cranium was discovered having features consistent with both Homo sapien and Homo erectus. The skull serves as a link between the first anatomically modern humans and the hominids. Prior to this finding, the oldest fossil with contemporary human characteristics was found 600,000 years ago in Bodo, Ethiopia. Ernesto Abate and an international team of paleoanthropologists unearthed the skull. The nearly entire skull was discovered in ancient river and lake sediments deposited in the volcanic northern Danakil Formation, together with two incisors and two pelvic pieces. 8. The highest point in Eritrea is in Baswara. The tallest peak in Eritrea is in Baswara, which stands at 9,902 feet. And Baswara is located on the southeastern side of Deva and is part of the Eritrean highlands. A paved road leads to the mountain from Senate City, 83.9 kilometers south of Asmara. 7. The name, Eritrea, is derived from the Red Sea's ancient name, and it was first used in 1890, when the Italian Eritrea was founded. The name of the country is derived from the region's previous name, Erythrys, which is related to the ancient Greek name for the Red Sea, Erythrean Sea. During the Ethiopian and British occupations that followed, the name remained. The country's independence vote in 1993 reaffirmed the name Eritrea. 6. The name of the Eritrean capital city, Asmara, means, they made them unite. In the present-day Asmara area, there were once four clans, the Geza Serenser, Geza Shalal, Geza Gurton, and Geza Asmi. The communities from the lowlands and the head of the Sejer Merab Malash were constantly attacking these clans. As a result, the ladies of these tribes decided to band together against their mutual foes in order to keep the peace. The men decided to call themselves Arbate Asmara. Arbate Asmara is a Tigrinian name that means the four brought them together. 5. Eritrea was part of the ancient kingdom of Aksum. The kingdom of Aksum was an ancient country based in what is now Ethiopia, Eritrea, and the Tigray region. The kingdom lasted from 100 until 940 AD, and its capital was Aksum. The commercial route connecting ancient India and the Roman Empire was led by Aksum. The Queen of Sheba is said to have lived at Aksum, and the Ark of the Covenant is said to have been buried there. 
4. Eritrea has no official language. Eritrea is a multilingual country, and the country's constitution declares that all languages are equal. Tigrinya is Eritrea's de facto national language, with about 2,540,000 speakers in 2006. Tigrinya is extensively spoken in the country's central and southern regions. Tig, Nara, Sapo, Kanama, Bailan, Mijav, Afar, and Arabic are some of Eritrea's other national languages. The de facto working languages are English and Tigrinya, but the government does not recognize Italian, their previous colonial language. 3. Eritrea is home to one of the oldest port cities in Africa. Adolais, a port city in Eritrea, is one of the ancient African cities that was founded during the Aksumite Kingdom, 100 AD to 940 AD. Adjolaz was located on the Red Sea Zula Gulf, some 25 miles south of Masawa. Adjolaz was a metropolitan city in the Aksumite Kingdom. The Aksumite Kingdom was able to become a major player in the Red Sea thanks to its control of this port. The Adjolaz ruins can be seen in the modern-day city of Sula. The empires of Aksumite and Deemed included Adjolaz. During the 2nd and 3rd century AD, the port was frequented by Roman merchants. 2. Asmara, the capital city of Eritrea, is also referred to as New Rome or Italy's African city. Asmara is known as New Rome since Italian architecture can be found in many of the city's older structures. Benito Mussolini attempted to convert Asmara to Little Rome after assuming power in Eritrea. As a result, he constructed a number of enormous structures featuring excellent Italian architecture. Because Eritrea was occupied by the Italians for such a long time, the city has a particular Italian flavor. Over 400 structures, including the cinema capital, Karen Casa del Fascio, Orthodox Cathedral, and the villa in December, reflect an Italian architectural style. Some stores, such as Ferramenta, Pasticceria Moderna, and Bar Vittoria, continue to employ Italian names. 1. Eritrea has never held a presidential or national election since independence. Eritrea is a one-party state that declared independence from Ethiopia in 1993. Since 2004, Eritrea has not hosted regional or municipal elections, while national and presidential elections have not been held since 1993. Since 1993, Eritrea has only had one president. President of Orki Isaias has long been critical of Western-style democracy. In an interview with Al Jazeera in 2008, the president indicated that his country will wait nearly four decades before conducting an election. The National Assembly's 75 members were elected in 1993, while the others were appointed. Visiting Eritrea can be both exciting and frightening, depending on what you want to do and when you visit. If you plan to remain in Eritrea for an extended period of time, be prepared for the country's cultural peculiarities and strict legal systems. If you enjoyed this journey, please like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more updates.